called Dreamland. Hello friends and welcome to RudeTube's Extreme Rides. Tonight's show is an action-packed journey through some of the internet's most ridiculous, thrilling and appallingly dangerous ways of getting from A to B. As we take this high-octane trip together, don't forget you can join in the chat on Twitter using hashtag RudeTube. So, quite literally strap in as we defy the laws of physics and good taste for our 50 extreme rides. Did you see the film Tron Legacy? Were you disappointed? Yes, me too. But I think we can all agree that the new light cycles were up there with the A-Team van of the General Lee, Bullets Mustang, the DeLorean, the Bandits Trans Am, Ecto-1 and the Tumbler as one of Movieland's extremely cool rides. Now, if only they were real. The CGI-created light cycles were stunningly realistic. Although not quite as realistic as the one created by Mark and Shannon Parker from Florida. People looked at it and they were like, there's no way it's real, there's no way you can really ride it. And even people that saw it driving down the road, they still couldn't believe it. The reaction was insane. I mean, people just lost their mind. And when people had found their minds again, the bike became an internet sensation. I went to lunch and it was maybe a thousand hits. I came back and it was like 80,000 hits. Well, it's got curvaceous bodywork that probably cost a lot and a tasteful leather trim. But I bet it's expensive to keep. Just like the bike. 